Good morning. Today is Monday. It is September 27th, and it is the start of a very, very important special week. We are this week honoring the um, National Truth and Reconciliation Week, um, and it's it means that uh, we are going to be doing a lot of work around what truth and reconciliation is and what that means um, uh, as far as our relationship to our Indigenous communities. And so I want to start today um, even more so with a little bit more um, intentionality with our land acknowledgement. We begin by giving thanks for the traditional and ancestral territory that is our meeting ground today. We acknowledge the many First Nations, Métis and Inuit, whose footsteps have marked these lands for generations. We are grateful for the stewardship and teachings of elders and traditional knowledge keepers and the efforts of youth and individuals who continue to protect land and language. Please take this time to acknowledge the caretakers of the land, the First Nations, Métis and Inuit, and those who share and contribute to the land, the four-legged, two-legged, fin-feathered crawlers, trees, plants, water, sun, and moon. This reading is an acknowledgement of the historical relationship between Indigenous and non-Indigenous communities on Turtle Island, and it's a call to action to walk together towards reconciliation. So like I said, uh, this week is really a reconciliation, truth and reconciliation week. We are going to be participating in some activities. You'll be doing some things in your social studies classes. Um, in addition to that, on Wednesday, we will be uh, gathering as an entire school division and watching a presentation from the division um, in Block 1, and we're going to just shift our timetables ever so slightly for that. A uh, big thank you to anyone who showed up for a smudge this morning at the teepee. We are doing that every Monday morning. All are welcome. I would love for that to be led by students, so please speak with Mrs. Simpson or Ms. O if you would like to lead that. Um, that would be awesome. Uh, so Orange Shirt Day is going to be on Wednesday, and we are we have no school on, it's technically always on September 30th. Uh, this year we have no school on that day in honoring um, and remembering National Truth and Reconciliation Day. Uh, so we are going to wear our orange shirts on Wednesday this week. If you don't have an orange shirt, um, that's okay. Wear something orange if you have it. If not, I have a bunch of, like I wear this bracelet every day and it's this orange bracelet and I made it out of just thread. So if you don't have something orange to wear and you need that for Wednesday, I can help you with all of that. Um, in addition to that, if you want, if you have a ribbon skirt or a ribbon shirt that you want to wear, we would welcome that as well. And let's make it, um, a day where we just come together and, um, honor our indigenous, uh, communities. So that is this week. Also no school on Friday. So y'all have Thursday and Friday off. Um, Friday's a PD day. So as teachers will be meeting and, and doing some work together. Um, couple of things. So there has been a little bit of an issue. Um, actually, no, before we do that, I'm going to do birthdays. So I missed some birthdays on, I think some weekend birthdays. So I'm going to go back and just double check that there was a bunch on the weekend. So Aram, a birthday on Saturday, and on Sunday we had Zachary in grade 9, uh, Mia, grade 7, Danielle in grade 8, um, Jeffrey in grade 9, uh, Jarrett, and Connor. Oh, Connor's birthday's today. So Connor in grade 7. So happy birthday to all of you. There was a whole bunch of you there. Um, so a couple of things. I went around uh, to classes last week and talk to the grade nine classes because we are going to be implementing a new cell phone policy. And so that cell phone policy is going to come into place um, next Monday, but I do want to give you a heads up. So I will be coming and talking to the grade sevens and eights over the next couple of days as I have these conversations. I just want you to know that like Obviously, we don't have lockers this year, but the cell phone usage in class and during class time. So I call class time instructional time. And the amount of phones that are being used during instructional time is um, bothersome and of a concern. So moving forward, and I will come around to classes, but we are going to have a penalty box system where you have to put your phone in an envelope. But it seems to me that some students think that um, if you step out of the classroom and ask to go to the bathroom for 15 minutes, that somehow um, that's okay because you can be on your phone in the hallway. I'm telling you right now, instructional time is the time that teaching is supposed to be happening. And whether you're in the class or not, those cell phones cannot be used. So if I see students during, during instructional time walking down the hallway on their phones, um, that becomes fair game for me to take your phone and have it in the office. 
this because this this needs to stop and the bathrooms need to be used for going to the bathroom I can't believe I'm saying this out loud um, not for uh, stealing items vandalism or cell phone usage so we are going to be cracking down on that in the next uh, few days but just a heads up that that policy is coming into play in addition to this just a reminder hoods off when you come into the school i will do a better job of reminding you earbuds out during instructional time as well these are obligations we have to each other they're a little bit less about rules and it's about being uh, respectful and we have an obligation to each other to respect our space and our teachers um, and the, and each other in our space so this is around respect and when you were not following these obligations um, that cre creates a problem in your community so let's take care of each other that way please also we're still struggling with lots of garbage stuff so outside at lunch students you are responsible for the zone that you eat in um, and mrs hunter and i will be coming around uh this week and we're gonna a couple minutes before the bell you might get tapped on the shoulder and you get green club duty that day which means you have to go around and help clean up so we just need to solve that problem and last but not least, um, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but Mr. G has been working so hard and extra hours. We are short staffed as part of our custodial staff. And he's been trying really hard to keep up with all of the obligations and responsibilities in our building. And it's been tough. So I need a favor. So I'm going to start a thing. I have a garbage can and it's gold and it's full of Skittles. And I'm telling you right now, the cl cleanest classroom at the end of the day gets the golden garbage can tomorrow morning. And the day after that, and the day after that. So for the next couple of days, and then next week I think we'll do this as well, but uh, the golden garbage can is gonna go to the cleanest classroom at the end of the day. Mrs. Hunter and I will go around and we'll judge classrooms. So that's coming down the pipe. So that starts today. Uh, so let's make sure that our classrooms are super clean desks are all up boxes are up and we are helping mr. G out just with some of these basics um, and so yeah I'm gonna just call this week be kind to mr. G week um, in addition to that also just stay tuned because October is gonna be club month and we're gonna get some extracurriculars started so stay tuned for that I can't wait to uh, roll out all of those pieces as we head into October which is just a few days away um, I apologize this is a long announcement this morning um, I just want to remind you that I love you I really do think you guys are doing an amazing job I know it is tough out there but we do need to step into some spaces of just remembering our obligations to our community and to each other so let's work hard on that this week um, and have a great day of learning